All right, ladies and gentlemen, got your watch list coming in to July 17th, 2019, and we have earnings and especially Netflix tomorrow morning, and we are going to be streaming that live after hours, so make sure you are there. We're going to be going over the conference call, explaining what's happening, and even looking for the earnings plays coming into the rest of the week. Now, I've been trying to get you guys inside and trying to show this view for the longest time. I don't even know when it's going to show up on this screen i forgot i gotta i gotta get closer here to the mic so if anybody has any experience with rtmp streaming and that that blah 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 and wants to set that up let me know because i would love to get this going for you live because everybody asks how many screens do you trade with i have these four up here i have this laptop and usually i'll have another one on the side of me so it'll give you guys more insight more plays more trades but let us get into our watch list so i have our keys for tomorrow a lot of stuff happened today that you know i think was groundbreaking and related to a lot of the plays that we've made so that's going to be important and finally too we have some earnings and other stuff related to plays that we need to talk about so let us get into our keys for tomorrow before i do that you guys know the most important thing you need to do is post your watch list below what plays are you watching what options what earnings plays and if you guys think any earnings are important put them the below when you guys see me share my earnings plays like i'm going to be doing here i'm doing the ones that i like and that i think are important so you guys could do the same if i miss some i would love to hear your guys' thoughts on it so on and so forth so let us get into it and now even to recap what happened today before i do that this has to do with the fed and what trump said today there was a cabinet meeting and he said they are far from a trade deal with china and he even said that he would increase tariffs on 325 billion dollars worth of more goods so this is important because this goes back to what we were saying last week where i was trying to tell you guys i thought that the fed was kind of hawkish if anything even though the market thought it was dovish and it was up to trump to mess up the trade deal to get his rate cut and that looks like that could be developing so again we're setting into an interesting time the market was even low volume today i think we're at 40 million which was still below that day of the half day slightly above yesterday but overall but that's what I think even leads into the main keys for tomorrow and what we have to talk about because, again, that is what happened, the Trump cabinet meeting. And then, again, Powell had his meeting today. And well, it wasn't a live meeting. It was a speech at the Bank de France. And he was talking about Bretton Woods from now until today. And he, he, he made references of what we have going on. So that stuff was interesting, but more or less it was along the lines of – he i didn't get anything new i think he said he's willing to cut and he's willing to raise rates depending on the situation and again i think it's kind of this back and forth between him and trump but we're going to talk about the next thing but the the key here is another second low day of volume we're waiting for news or even bigger earnings results to unleash the volume and again don't forget about that buyout blackout period but even in general i think that powell and trump and what we're going to start seeing coming into this stuff is going to be in coming into the this whole fed issue once that volume gets unleashed i think it's going to be a big move but like i said don't forget about this buyout blackout period i have a video on it if you guys want to look into it anything could happen but we are going to start getting more and more big names we're going to get bank of america and ibm tomorrow and i forgot i should have put there netflix that is going to be the key so what i want to look for getting almost straight into the place here's the continuations you need to watch ual reported today after hours so did csx those are both transports one had a negative effect csx ual went positive had buybacks we'll see but watch for those continuations and how those are going to play out the next thing for earnings that we're going to see in the morning bank of america progressive and abbott i made a play on abbott because i expected it to to kind of surprise out of nowhere so keep your eye out for that and then the next one is going to be uh, at nighttime we're going to get netflix ibm ebay uri united rentals and alcoa and kinder morgan so you have oil commodities uh you know transports you could kind of say to a degree ebay ibm and netflix and now of course we're going to see netflix i think i have some other spread plays i'll need to have to go over those but watch out for these ibm is priced i think people are expecting it to go to the upside despite some of the negative factors it has but again i think all eyes will be on netflix and usually how netflix reports we it's not that they're going to tell us a lot about what's happening with the economy because netflix is mostly domestic however we will get to see how the market is going to respond to good or bad earnings and see how far off along they were with estimates. So keep your guys' eyes out for that. Again, you could always go to earningswhisper.com to take get an update with these. And again, post your watch list and what you guys are looking at tomorrow. So now, as far as the plays, let us discuss what we played today beyond. I got a weekly on these, and honestly, I'm liking it. 
I think it's going to be a risk of it either happens this week or next week. It's starting to get back in this mode, and you can see it's even at a resistance point. Apron, blue apron, APRN. I don't like that play, but a lot of people were in it today, and they liked it. However, that was based on a partnership with Beyond Meat. I still think Beyond Meat's the main winner. People, there's even a McDonald's partnership that happened last week, or people were expecting that. At the end of the day, I like where it's at here. This stock is a low flow. It's been very volatile, and it's pretty much had two weeks to chill out after just hitting a, a crazy top and coming down here. Now that it's leveled out, it's either, like I'm saying, it's either this week or next week. We want to see how it acts at these levels. I think it could go up to that 200 level, but I wanted to get stuff before it. So I believe we got the 197s. Yeah, right there for 42 cents. And they, they dropped their after hours. I think it started to it started to sell off a little bit after hours, but watch how these play out and again you see there's gonna be a lot of people at the 200s i'm still holding that in november and that one's still coming up but i think i'm still down 600 total on that contract but i was down a lot more but i got that november 180 so i have one that's almost in the money there but keep your eye out for that i like beyond me and that was one of the plays that we made today the next play we made today was the nvidia i grabbed the ones that i told you about yesterday i said if we could get, you know, X amount of dollars, which was around $5 close to the money, I'm going to look to get it. And I got these 172s. We grabbed these for 42 cents there in the morning. And from there, it shot up even to, to 80 cents, came down, shot back up. It's been all over the place, but the fact is it's closer to the money. I like that one a lot. And in general, the chip makers, and there was even news related to Huawei, and, and some, it was a subtle news about how they were going to start reselling to Huawei. And the fact is the chip makers have been kind of resilient despite all this. So keep your eye out for that. And because, you know, some of these stocks, like even AMD hit 52-week highs, those stocks can benefit from this. So keep your eye out for that. But we made that play today. The next one, we get Wells Fargo. And I like these ones a lot. And now we're going to be watching and you can play now Bank of America after they report as a sympathy to these. But we got these ones right here. I got these 45 for seven cents in the morning. So again, if you guys were on stream, you saw that and seven cents kind of seemed like a lot. But after, you know, it pretty much just went crazy from there it even touched almost 30 at one point you know that's like three four hundred percent but i like it there it's about to get in the money but the thing with these plays now too you got to be careful wednesday's a decent day you know we still have half of the week left so some of these weeklies aren't too bad especially if they're close to the money and that is the beauty of some of these plays however the minute they fall out they're going to be dead and they won't bounce back but something like wells fargo if it stalls tomorrow and doesn't get any leeway those contracts aren't going to be as good as you think however i like that again with some of the other bank earnings happening and what we got going on so keep your eye out for that one then next we're gonna have like you said the continuations from UL, UAL and CSX we didn't play those again depending on how they move tomorrow they could be a continuation play they're either gonna bounce or continue along and depending on volume and everything else we will get our indication from there so keep your eye out for that and then lastly we got FedEx this one again we up the contracts we bought yesterday were at 16 that we bought for 16 cents these contracts were pretty good. We got the 175s, I believe. They came all the way back down. Sad, sad story. We got them at 16. They shot all the way up to 80, 90 dollars. Congrats if you took them. I didn't take them, but you guys see, you know, that was almost a four, five hundred percent gainer. It came back down, but the whole point was it, it went up three, four percent today, and then ended up dropping. I need a stretch, but watch out for FedEx. I, I like them a lot. I think they're going to be good, man. I got actually now that you guys can see it. This is what I was trying to show you guys earlier. You guys got to get your resistance bands on, man. Stretch a little bit. Get your push-ups. You know what I'm saying? You guys do your push-ups. Look, I'm, I'm shooting the video. We can do these. Let's go. One, two, three. Come on. Let's get right back to it. You see, hopefully, that is what FedEx does tomorrow. But, you know, I want to look at those. Those are the plays we made today that we actually added on to. And now, another play I did grab was Abbott. And I grabbed those $7 plays. You guys could see here. The, the Abbott was a, I really enjoyed it a lot because, you know, I, I think it was a good risk reward. We got these for about nine or 10 cents. And the whole point, even though it's a weekly, Abbott could move about $6. That's the biggest earnings loss or move that it's had. However, it's only expected to move $2. But this is one, I did it on the Robinhood account because I'm figuring, hey, if I could get it, there you go. You see the Abbott 177. You know, I figured if I could get those for cheap, the whole point is no commissions. That's why I did the Robin Hood. It's, it, it makes sense to play it. It's medical devices. It's in this, this, this realm where there's already been bad news. It's seen and it's already pricing in something low. I'm, I'll take the $9 bet, but it doesn't mean it's a really high probability play. So keep your eye out for that though. I like that one a lot. 
Next, Symantec. This was the play we held. And again, surprisingly, even though it went up, the contract didn't go up as much. That means there was a lot of IV in that August one. However, I don't think it was the IV as much as the fact that as we get higher and higher, I think the market is just not expecting a deal to come in higher than $26 because that's where it was at first. So we're still holding that based on the Qualcomm news. So we will see what happens, but keep your eye out for that one. And the next one, we already played Beyond. We're still holding the shop. And those ones were all over the place, honestly, because those went up and down. And today, I think, I don't know what they closed at. They, they closed that break even. They went down 20%. Then they went back up 100% today on a, on a simple pot but again if shop does get some gas and steam there i think it could be good but the fact that it kind of leveled out here it's decent but this could even be one that that goes up all the way on friday the best part about this shopify play as we discussed though we got a little extra time so that could take us a pretty long way so there's that and then the last plays are facebook that we're still holding and and both of the puts and calls drain and this is why this account you know this was at the 900 it came down a little bit but the 210 uh, it, that one's starting to, uh, the 210 is pretty much back at break even. The 220 is below it. And somebody even asked, they said, you know, is, should I get the 210 now? I'm still holding it because that's, you know, we're already in that play and we got to play it a little bit. But the fact is, the fact it's holding $40 with three days later after we purchased it, it's it's still expensive. It's decayed more, holding the same price, therefore it's more expensive. So watch out for that one though. But I like Facebook in general, but even the put decay that we bought on it elsewhere, which wasn't too good of a look. So there's that and lastly Cigna this one did the same thing kind of like Shopify it was up and then it was down we got this one at 50 cents yesterday it went up to 80 90 cents today on the 185 and then it just came straight back down and it's kind of close it closed down what we're down 23 percent so it was all over the place but the fact was it showed us what UNH and all of these stocks were doing so those are the plays we made those are the ones I encourage you to watch because I, I think they're good opportunities and if you have any sympathies or anything related call them out post your watch list below but but the plays I want to watch now, this is what I think is going to be most important. It's going to be find your earnings plays. We need to focus in on the earnings and the ones we want. But the key in the name of the game is going to be value stocks. There is going to be your FANG stocks. And that's what I have my focus on. And I keep these up. But then at the same time, I do want to get value stocks. Walmart, Starbucks, McDonald's, Home Depot, Disney, and then well, watch Netflix and Roku. Those are going to be important. But these ones right here, I mean, you could even take Disney off of that list. These are more of the growth ones we want. But HD, McDonald's, Starbucks, Walmart, every single one of those is important. But watch how they play in relation to these earnings and where they go from here. I'm trying to give you guys more of a view on this. I don't even, like I said, this thing's probably laggy. I need someone to come fix this for me. But watch the walmart i that one i we haven't played much but when you guys start to see where it's at on the levels it's been going straight up we got a red candle watch for the premium because with the stock going straight up it doesn't mean the iv has to always be going up and up and up and what could happen is they can misprice how fast they expect it to go up so keep your eye out for that i'm gonna like that one a lot walmart's gonna be great starbucks same thing applies and again walmart and starbucks are harder to catch because they're really gonna move slower and even if they go up you could still lose like i was just explaining but then you get to mcdonald's and Home Depot, they actually make real big dollar moves. But now you see how these haven't popped lately. If the market pops, these will follow along and these will be very, very cheap and underpriced because there's still people like me who don't expect McDonald's to get past 215. And then again, Home Depot, like I said, I'm not expecting it to get past this 217. But like I said yesterday, some of you wanted to get in on these. I think the contracts in the money are going to fall out of the money. And I might be down to sell premium. Someone asked me if I'm going to do that. I said I'm not confident with the risk reward. However, when I think about it, it's not like as if I think these stocks will go up too much. So maybe I could, but I would rather wait it out and see. And, that, and that's going to be pretty much my plan there. So I'm waiting on those. Those are the same plays we put up yesterday. So hopefully you guys are able to see those. And then lastly, Disney and Netflix. As Disney's going to be important uh, with, again, in relation to Netflix, so we could see how it, how, it le how it plays running up into it and then after the earnings. But in general, I still feel the same way. Disney, I, I think it's just going to rock it and it's holding up here on earnings. I, I think it's going to do quite amazing. So I already have one play on there. I think I'm both ways on Disney. Depending on how we see tomorrow and the volume, I might start setting up even more calls on there. And then lastly, we're going to get Netflix. And, and Roku, I mean, we could actually Netflix, I'm going to talk about tomorrow on stream a lot. I'm going to go over the plays I have and we're going to set those up because I will set up more plays tomorrow if they are there. But for the most part, I want to use them as a bellwether. If I do find anything underpriced in some crazy opportunities or we see crazy volume, I'll take it. But other than that, other than that, I'm not in any crazy rush. But then Roku, 
Big, big move today. It's up near these highs. Roku could go nuts at these levels. This is all-time highs, so we're going to see. It has no real cap, but the problem I have with it is the pricing. So how do we play this? Wait in the morning, wait for it to fall out the money, and then it comes back up, and then boom, 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 bang, bang, bang. We got it. Let's go, baby. That's our watch list, so I'll see you in the morning. Let's go. Actually, wait. Let's see if we can catch a plane here. Hold on. That right there is what we're going to do, baby. It's takeoff time. Let's go. See that? See that? See that? See that?